am Grace from Philippines and welcome to my channel! Minasan! Konnichiwa! Watashi na chanere ni yakasa! Watashi wa Filipino Christes! Welcome back for another reaction video and for today I am watching Opponents Before and After Facing Naoya Inoue and this video is from this channel. Dewa sasap! Hajime masho! A gift from God. And I'm not even a religious man. But that power comes someplace from deep inside. Either you have it or you don't. Since becoming flyweight world champion eight years ago, Naoya Inoue has been terrorizing the lower weight classes with his insane power. He's the monster. Oh, he's the monster. In a way, has dazzled fans with his elite boxing style and frightening power yes. as he looks to establish a once in a lifetime legacy. <laughs> Incredible. As a result, we peek at the monster's most recent victims before and after. This guy is going to be a worldwide star in short order for sure. McDonald's. Naoya debuted at 118 pounds against Jamie McDonald. Jamie was a formidable opponent who had nearly gone undefeated for a decade. He's got the nickname Monster, but he's not. He's got two arms, two legs. You're all weight insane. I'm a big phantom weight. I'm probably, you know, I could fight at featherweight. So it's not, you know, I'm big, I'm strong. I'm not a banger. Um, and I think, you know, I think I beat him easy. On May 25th, 2018, in the Oda City General Gymnasium in Japan. Oh, in Japan. In a way, demonstrated his deadly power with the first combination he threw, with McDonald feeling the brunt of the strikes. The rich advantage that comes with it. That jab has got it. Be a snappy, piercing jab. Oh, just keeping it long. Looking for that right hand, looking for the left of the body mm -hmm. as well early on. That's a danger shot in the most that there is. Oh. Wow, at the moment, heavy left hand seemed to catch McDonald high on the head, almost on the top of the head there, and his legs seem a little bit shaky here. Oh. Oh. Round the one. The visitor fought back courageously, but a vicious follow-up attack led Luis Pabon to call a halt as McDonald landed on the canvas Just for round the second one. time. Looking to tee off with that right hand, left hand, and McDonald sacks into the ropes again, and Luis Pabon, the referee, has jumped in and weighed this off inside the first round. Jamie McDonald has been blown away. Wow, that was really fast. Versus After Payano. coming off a demolition job over the bantamweight champion Jamie McDonald back on May 25th, 2018, Naoya Inoue chose to participate in the World Boxing Super Series in hopes of winning the Muhammad Ali Trophy. At the Draft Gala on 20 July, Inoue, now 17-0, chose to defend his title against Dominican Republic boxer Juan Carlos Bellano. It's a strange Dominican one because Republic. obviously he picked you at the draft. How did that feel and how's the training gone? Uh, he could have chose anybody that he wanted to and uh... Unfortunately, he chose me, and I think that tonight he'll realize that he made a mistake. No. As we get the bantamweight tournament in season two of the World Boxing Super Series underway. Red and white. Here at the Yokohama Arena in Japan. So here we go then. The WBA regular bantamweight championship of the world on the line. Payano was Inoue's first victim in the tournament as he knocked out the Dominican at 1 minute and 10 seconds of the first round in the Yokohama Arena. Round one again! Monster Naoya Inoue battled Emmanuel Rodriguez in the World Boxing Super Series semifinal in Glasgow a little over three years ago. 
Things got personal. In a way stated before the fight, what occurred to my father was an incident that enraged me because of the Puerto Rican trainer's demeaning behaviors toward my father. In a way continued, this is why on fight night, I'm going to go all out to knock out Emmanuel Rodriguez out as quickly as possible. Just because you're the loudest dog, don't mean you the baddest dog. You know, right now, the boxing galaxy of stars, folks, it is widespread. You got Canelo Alvarez, he's the biggest singular attraction. Tyson Fury, the heavyweight champ, and probably the biggest personality. Crawford needs a fight, Spence has Pacquiao, Teofimo Lopez, his weekend plans were COVID interrupted. And then there's this guy on the left, in a way. There's no drama, there's no criticism, no controversy. There's just destructive fists and focus. In a way, just find the fight on. Good man. But he landed a good got it on the judges' cards. But this fight, goodness me, the speed and power of those punches from in a way. Fearsome flow. Oh. And he's done. He's got him on the left for the first time in his career. Down goes Manny Rodriguez in the second. Here comes in a way. Oh, he's got it to the body. Oh, oh what a shot. Rodriguez. Surely he was taking Round anything two. out of the goal, Jim. This is unbelievable for him. Third time he's gone down. Rolls to the court. Another count. It's over. Michael Alexander waves it off in the second. Shoto. Shoto. Japanese. Lights out. Lights out. He's a freak of nature. I've never seen punches like that. So much power. So much accuracy. Nieves. Amazing! The Inoue's performance and rising fame paved the ground for his long-awaited debut in the United States. What does the fight mean to you? And what do you want to show the fans? I, I feel that I must put on a performance where the American boxing fans will want to see more of my fights. We see things that uh, we're going to be able to take advantage to, to take them all away from his game, and uh, it's going to lead us to the victory. End of the day, he's not really, I mean, if you guys believe in monsters, then good for you, but he's not really a monster, let's face it. Antonio Carita Nieves. 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 Monster. introduction to the monster. Antonio Nieves tried to put up a fight initially, but found himself increasingly out of his element as the middle rounds turned into an offensive masterclass. Just a little bit kind of oh. about the power of when he throws it. Oh. Nieves is not punching back. Anyway, it seemed to me he looked devastating. Making him down. Get away. Has him ready to go to the body. There it is. Round five. And there's another engine thing. Another what Max Kellerman and Andre Ward say. Another left hook to the body. Another left hook to the body. In boxing, I don't care who you are, who you're fighting, oh. or where you've been brought up. Learn to throw the left hook to the body. It will win you more fights than any other weapon. Things for me. It oh, he's running me. away. <laughs> Naoya in a way thrashed the challenger, prompting trainer Joseph DeGlade to halt the fight due to the risk of further injury. And he has made the decision. Oh. So it'll be a technical knockout at the end of round six. Round six. Wow. His 12th knockout in 14 fights. Naoya. Monster. Man, that, that guy's a beast. This dude is people. He's a beast, man. He's getting them out of there. He's murking anybody. A fearsome flurry. And he's done. He's got him on the left. He's murking top, top notch guys. fighters. Yeah, yeah I, think we need to, I think we need to pay him a lot more attention. Why? He's truly the monster. Every opponent was knocked down. 
in just round one, round two, he always finishes his fight in round one or two. He's truly really the monster. Great power, great strategy, great techniques. He's unbelievable. I've seen him fight our very own Nonito Donaire. And he defeated him not just once, but twice. In just few rounds as well. And by just looking at him, he's so intimidating already. Undefeated boxer of Japan. Well, anyway, thank you so much to the uploader of the video. And guys, thank you also for watching with me. I'll see you very soon.